What a surprise. A last minute legal challenge to Brexit. Is anyone else starting to suspect whether you voted remain or leave, nothing is going to change. Shit's gonna get more expensive and nothing's gonna change. That's what happens every fucking year anyway. Is anyone starting to suspect that the vote was just a load of bullshit to keep the peasants occupied while George Osborne and David Cameron got on with what they really wanted to do behind the scenes? Here we are peasants, here's a vote. Why not argue with your uncles, with your cousins, maybe attack each other in the street. <laughs> Have fun. Right, David, while they're not looking, I'm going to stick my dick in a goose. Oh, golden goose. I'll put myself in its beak, George. We spit roast the golden goose while the peasants argue about nothing. Do you think Theresa May actually gives a shit? She's anti-Brexit anyway. She's probably one of the judges in disguise. It was me all along. The crow hidden under the judge's wig. I will get what I want. <laughs> at the time I voted remain. But I've sort of got my head around the decision now. Let's just get on with it. If we keep asking the same question, you're not gonna get the answer you want. You're just gonna build more resentment and get a bigger no. It reminds me of one of my first relationships. Please, please just touch the end of it. What about if we sleep in bed, but cuddle with no clothes on? What about if you sit in the next room and I wank and you just listen? Give up, the vote was lost. I don't like seeing old people so angry. I'm taking back control of my country. I'm not racist. But, don't finish that sentence. Don't finish it, Gary. I'm not racist, but, that's like saying, I'm not a rapist, but get in the van. And I'm sorry, statistically, more old people voted Brexit. I just don't understand why. Old people are normally the ones that want to see new faces. I don't see anyone new anymore. No one comes round here in the nursing home. No one cares about when you're old. What about Peter, the Polish guy? He's come over to say hello. Not him, he can fuck off. Fuck off back to Poland, Peter, you prick. Get back to Warsaw, wanker. Going against the will of the people could be very dangerous. People who are saying their wage are being pushed down by immigrant workers. Even if you find that an uncomfortable argument, we have to listen to it. The one thing I will not listen to is skivers getting in on it. Yeah, me too. I haven't worked for five years because of the fucking Polish. We need to get on with Brexit and get them out of the country so I can work again. They've left now, Gary. You can work. Oh, I can't. My back. My back. I can't. I've got depression. I didn't mean fruit picking anyway. I meant something else. Maybe a barrister, a rocket scientist, a fanny inspector. I will now try and finish by explaining it to you in a way that will make your brain pop out of your ears. We have voted to take back control of our country from Brussels. We have now taken back control of our country from Brussels. Our country is run by the Houses of Parliament. The Houses of Parliament now have to start Brexit. But the Houses of Parliament aren't in favour of Brexit. Therefore, we've lost control of our country. Have a great day. And remember, you can never win because the leader of our country is the elitist, Theresa May. The crow of power. There's only one positive thing gonna come out of this. The resurrection of Nigel Farage. He's just unavailable today for comment. They just found him inside a Pret-a-Manger. He'd wanked himself unconscious.